Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make a skateboard using Autodesk Tinkercad. So first, click on connectors and select the hand grip cutout, which will act as the skateboard truck. And then you want to turn it by 90 degrees so that it's facing the right way. And you can copy and paste this object so that you have two trucks that will be paired with two sets of wheels. And you want to make sure that they align so that they are next to each other on the skateboard. And you can view it from the top to make sure that they are lined up correctly. And you might need to raise them up so that they're not going through the work plane. And then you want to work on your deck. So go to basic shapes and click on cylinder. And then you want to adjust the size of the cylinder. So make it 100 millimeters by 30 millimeters, five millimeters high. And then if you move it to, correct, to the correct height and to the correct location, it should rest perfectly on top of the skateboard trucks. And once you have everything lined up the way that you want, we can then move on to the wheels. So under the basic shapes, click on tube and you wanna change the wall thickness to 18 millimeters and that'll make it look more like a wheel. And then you wanna take turn it by 90 degrees so that it can look like it's rolling. And you might need to change the height of your deck and your trucks to line up with this wheel. You basically want to line up the wheel with the circular part of the truck. Make sure that the wheels are attached to the trucks. You wanna make sure that the two wheels are the same distance apart from the middle of the skateboard. And then you wanna copy and paste these wheels to do the same for the other side. And once again, if you look at the bottom, of the design, you'll be able to make sure that everything is lined up the way that you want it to. And the last step is to grab, select all of these parts and make sure that they are resting on top of the plane and not um, halfway down the plane. And then, now's the fun part. You can customize all the colors. I'm going to make mine pink, blue, and yellow, but you can do whichever colors you want. You can even make the wheels different colors from each other. And once you have the colors that you want, select all of these parts and group them. Now, grouping is going to make them all the same color, but if you click on the color, you can then select multicolor to maintain that original design that you wanted. And now you're done with your skateboard. Congrats on finishing this design. The last step is just to export it. So select your skateboard, click on export and click on STL. A file will automatically download and this is the file that you will then use to 3D print your skateboard. And then you'll be able to see it in real life. Okay, thanks for watching and good luck with your design. Bye.